Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Here we go. The final version of Golf. Never released to the public. Golf Nights! <laughs> I don't even know what they said that time. <laughs> but first, the manual. Are you ready? Welcome to Golf Nights. The year is 29XX. The outlawed sport of golf is played by naught but a few daring individuals who would defy the wishes of their robot overlords. Sensing impending defeat, the elders of golf arrange for knowledge of the game to be sent back in time. 20XX years, hoping to create a magnificent time loop in which the sport of golf can exist in perpetuity. Eight data capsules are sealed and ready for transfer. Now they just need to be delivered to the drop zones in 32 strokes or less. <laughs> so I guess the drop zones are the holes. <laughs> Let's respect our robot overlords. Now Lord Sport of Golf is no longer permitted. This manual will serve as a guide on how not to participate in the sport. Accordance with your robot overlords wishes. Bunkers, golf is outlawed and bunkers should thus not come into play. <laughs> <laughs> Fairways, golf is all on, and fairways should, should thus not come into play. I see where that was going when I read the first one. <laughs> Distances? Let's holster our golf clubs. These distances are irrelevant. Golf is outlawed, so the preceding distances should be disregarded immediately. Possession of this knowledge is considered a crime worthy of immediate brain scrubbing. <laughs> Lasers. Ah, oh, I really should have read the manual, because I thought those were just regular spotlights. <laughs> Lasers constantly monitor golf courses for balls. Any balls that enter the lights will be zapped into oblivion. Golfers who wander into these zones will likewise be zapped into oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> Renegade golfers playing against their robot overlords wishes are asked to kindly stump it to the zones at the earliest convenience. <laughs> Transport units are strictly for the convenient transportation of robot overlords. Renegade golfers are strongly dis discouraged from hitting balls into such areas as the transport units have not been designed in accordance with the current golfing regulations and will thusly grant the golf ball safe travel to another dimension. Proceeds of anti-crime. Brave men and women who report golf crimes will receive a generous number of space credits. Family member reports earn double credits. <laughs> Let's respect environmental devastation. Woo! I mean, wait, what? Golfing on the rooftops is a very dangerous and highly impractical. Furthermore, 9 out of 10 life forms said they did not even enjoy it. <laughs> the 10th reported the same after minor brain scrubbing. Golf is not even fun. When given the choice to golf, 100% of life forms said they would rather be doing something more rewarding with their lives, such as computer maintenance or installing scheduled updates. <laughs> yes, we love waiting for Windows updates. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta get the distances page up, which is, I guess, contraband, and let's begin! Can we do it though? Can we get under par? Well, at the very least, we probably should aim for those sort of transport station dealios when at all possible. Uh, four iron, right? Four iron would be half the distance from me to the hole, right? 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 Yeah. No, no, no. That's at least I think that, or because it looks like that circle is right in the halfway point, and I, I really want to get into the transport if I can help it. Okay, I'm gonna try five iron and max it. Don't go in the zap. Okay. <laughs> the zap is like out of bounds as we remember. Well, anyway, I guess that's not happening. So let's go to the driver, right? Driver? No, no, actually, maybe three wood. Because remember, the rough gives you no punishment. And a little curve to the right to get on the green. Yeah, very nice. Now, should I change my angle a little bit based on this side hill? Like to here? Probably. That that feels more right. Oh! <laughs> I think that's robot sounds. <laughs> Actually, that's what it is. Okay, so this is this is a really <laughs> this is I don't even know. It's a par five, yes, but I don't know if I want to go for the transport over there on the side. Like even if I miss the transport, I could just chip it into the transport, which will poop me up top there and then I hit onto the green and maybe one putt. 
but I could also go out of bounds or in the water, because that's not a very large area. So maybe what I should just go for is the bunkers. Yeah. <laughs> and then from here, we're going to go from the bunker to the fairway. Or not. Okay. <laughs> that'll, that'll be just fine. What was the sand wedge? Pitching wedge? Pitching wedge. Because we're, we're going against the grain of wind here. You know, that's a lot of a lot of adjustment for such a small shot there. there go like there, and even curve it to the right just to hold its line. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna overhit this one and hope that the <laughs> that the arrows don't take me away from it. Ooh! Yes, how am I doing so well? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I see with this one, they really, really do not want you to get a ball to the transport hole. In this way, <laughs> even the teleporter takes you to no man's land, and then you have a bunker to hit over on the way back. I'm just gonna overhit this and curve it a little to the right. Ah, oh, close. And whoops, why did I do that? I don't know because I know my sandwich distance. Um, half of that. It. Pardon? Why did that go so short? Was it? Was my lie cutting into it or something? I don't know about that one. <laughs> well, looks like I got a bogey, I think. Yeah, okay. Whew. That's still okay. We're still under par. Stay calm. <laughs> Holy mother of pearl. <laughs> this is, this hole does not uh, inspire confidence. Okay, so I want to get to that little patch of fairway because the sand is like doom to everything. <laughs> wow, that worked out well. Uh, now, didn't I find out that was out of bounds? Like when I tried hitting to that before, that light patch of something? Is that, maybe it's hedges? I don't know. Maybe it's a interdimensional matter transporter? I don't know. Who knows? This is the future. The future of golf. Uh, what? <laughs> the wind is, the wind is straight up. <laughs> well, oh, and it put me all the way back there, you son of a... Okay. <laughs> uh... I guess I'll just have to kind of poop myself over to that patch of land there and assume that the six iron will not... Okay, <laughs> I thought that was going to get zapped. We're all right. Uh, I'll go straight to the middle of that as close as I can and try and fight fight the wind. Ah, Yep, that's out of bounds. Yeah, this is a very difficult hole because of those tight landing areas. Dang, those naked crabs. <laughs> Always stealing my balls all over the place. Okay, maybe I'll just... A little bit of curve. Not a lot of curve. Okay. <laughs> Not 213. That's the four wood. Actually, no, I gotta do three wood because of the uh, the wind in my face. And a little bit of curvature. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not liking the looks of this. <laughs> Oops. How did I go in the wrong direction? I don't know. Nook. Oh, it did not have much rollout whatsoever. <laughs> uh, please go in. Well, <laughs> I don't think this will be the round, because this hole is a doozy. Uh, okay. This one, though. Should I aim for the teleporter? Probably. Let me get a little bit closer to the hole. Oh! I seen the wind there, but I, I didn't mean to miss it that... <laughs> I missed it pretty badly there. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, there we go. That'll be... Okay, it's overhit, but still, that's still better than out of bounds. Anything's better than out of bounds. Five iron, right? Five, no, no, six iron. Okay, I'm get, starting to memorize my club distances so I don't have to always look at the book. <laughs> I'm getting closer. I mean, yes, I probably, as I said, should write them down out to the side, but still have not done that. And this is the riskiest shot if you want to go for that little patch of fairway over there. Uh, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to go three wood over to the teleporter. Oh, oh, you can just land it on the fly. I thought you had to actually get your ball to sit there. That's interesting. That actually might be uh, good knowledge to have if you think about it. Anyway, I'm going to go over to the next patch of fairway and hopefully not get zapped. Okay. Uh, oh, no, I'm not... Uh... Well, I'm not going to make the green now, so I might as well just poop out with the sand wedge here. Just as long as I get into the... 
I said poop. <laughs> I think it's too late for my round anyway, but I just want to poop out to the sandwich. And then I should be able to make the green. But yeah, that's a risky hole like nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> the same that that other power f well actually it was a power six I was gonna say the other power five but that that was a indeed a power six oh wait that all oh, right that hmm well I was gonna say I was thinking of my pitching wedge distance or something <laughs> oh man this yeah this could be the round that'll take me hundreds upon hundreds of plays to actually get okay so I remember you don't want to aim up that way you want to just aim straight for it as unintuitive as it may look depending on the uh, angle of this. So we're gonna go for it and hope that I don't get zapped. <laughs> I don't know how they expected you to make that in one shot. <laughs> this is a part three, but... Uh, pitching wedge? No, it would have to be like eight iron. And I guess I'll have to aim like that and with a little right curvature. Bunk. I lost my capsule. I lost my capsule. Okay, I'll just aim straight. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I guess I'll aim straight for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this could be the 100 round golf course play. Alright. It's Christmas time in golf. And 88 yards. Yeah. And here we go, moment of truth. What hole in one? Oh, so sad. I'll just overhit it. Oh, I thought that would have taken the break out, but nope, it's not gonna let me do it this time. <laughs> oh man, well that's uh, that's better than I shot, but yeah, as I said, this one is without a doubt the hardest course, so might take me a couple of tries unless everything comes together in this next round. Oh, I'm doing it again, dang it. Lofted wedges. Um, because I'm using the D-pad when I'm playing golf, but it's the control stick when you're moving around in the overworld. Whew. Whew. That's good. <laughs> Surely this couldn't be more difficult than the course maker's course of doom, could it? Could it? Yeah, probably it is. <laughs> it was designed specifically to frustrate us. Oh geez, that's not a good start. I wanted to go to the teleporter, but... Well, I guess I could try the teleporter. I tried. I did, because I, it was either that or probably go in the water or something. Uh, 166 is... Oh, there goes the music starting again for some reason. 5 iron. Straight out. Against the wind. Go on that green, please. Ooh. Not looking good for a start here. Dunk. Okay. Can I make this? Can I make this? I gotta gotta work on that first hole. <laughs> I don't know if this will be the run, but I will most certainly do my best regardless of the situation. And to the bunkers I go once again, just because it's safest. And to the fairway I go once again, just because it's safest. So at least I tried. <laughs> Pitching wedge for 92, right? Yeah, because that's that's right around the pitching wedge range. Pitching wedge range. Perfect speech. Uh, a little bit to the right. Mm, that didn't curve at all! <laughs> it, it, the arrows, they mean nothing. <laughs> okay, this one now. Driver straight to it, I suppose. Sure looks like the right angle. Okay, I thought I was gonna get zapped. We're good. We're good. Still okay. Can I make it in from here? Probably not. Eh, it should be fine. Uh, where's the hole? Okay, so it's just under the middle cursor. Alright, par. Par it is. So we're, st we're playing pretty steady. We're okay. We're doing alright until we get to this. <laughs> what are you supposed to do on this one? Do you really... I mean, do people really dare to hit to that little patch of sand in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> and then to the green? I mean, I suppose it's possible, but to just land it there just feels so scary. Anyway, here we go. A little curve to the right. Get it on to fairway. There we go. Okay. Uh, wait, can I just make it straight to that patch of land there now? Because I got it much farther? It sure looks like it. I'm going to try it. 
Try and get some whole or strokes back. Oh, okay. Uh, two thirty-one. That's the three wood, right? Oh wait, no, that because the wind is in my face. Uh, I gotta curve it to my character's facing direction left, so I gotta hit to the right of the gauge. I think. Mm, yes, correct, correct, right. Yes, yes, good, very good. Now overhit and take the break out of it. Oh. Okay. That's safer. <laughs> it's still not that safe. Now I remember I, I kept overhitting with the driver here. So three what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna curve it a little to the left. Oh, I curved it the wrong direction. Whoops. Yeah, that's not good. Well, if I get it in two, that's still power, but still, that's not, it's not good. Uh, I'm gonna have to go driver here. <laughs> I don't want to aim there, but yet that's not where I should be aiming either because of the wind direction. So I'm gonna have to curve it to the right. Hmm. Well, if it gets bogey and I, I mean, if I get bogey and then I end up with uh, uh, par for the course thus far, that's still not too bad. Okay, yeah. So we're even par, but we not we're not under par. We're still looking for the mystical under par scenario. Oh, and I yes, I know that there's another patch of fairway on this hole that you could aim towards in the very middle of this, but ah, oh, that's that's almost as bad as that one. <laughs> So over here we go three wood and before I got it in like that Well, I didn't this time <laughs> uh, Well uh, This is this is just an ugly hole in general <laughs> 378 can I make it to that? Yes, I, I'm sure I can make it to that fairway, but I don't know if I can <sighs> That'd be like four iron I think to get to that little patch of island there. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying! Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. I, I, I went for it and it worked. <laughs> oh, I just realized, um, we're playing around the city, so that, that's why the seventh hole, we're walking up to the buildings on the next hole. Yeah, because the progress of this hole will lead to the next one, which is on top of the buildings, because see they're up at the top of the screen. That's a pretty nice little, little bit of progression there. I don't know how I didn't really notice that before. I mean, yes, I did notice the buildings in the background, but not uh, the actual, I guess you could call it level progress. Uh, five, no, three iron, because the wind. I guess, with a little left curvature. Uh, okay, well, we're okay. All right. As long as we make power here, I guess that's, it's all right. As long as we don't flub too badly. <laughs> uh, okay, the hole, probably just aim straight for it. Yes, okay. Still even, still good, until we get to this one. <laughs> I really don't know what they want me to do on this one. Um, I guess max the power and hope that I make it on the green. <sighs> I fell off the building. Because <laughs> I miss hit the shot. Try it again. <laughs> this is just not a hole for scoring on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Three over, and I don't think I can recover that on the last hole. So I gotta do something on that one to uh, make a difference on that. And yes, I know I can't recover because it's the part two, no matter what. Even if I get a hole in one on this. I was just joking about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the break, it came late. Doesn't much matter though. Ah! <laughs> I was just going, I was just hurrying up to get to the next game already. Hmm. 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 That's better. That's better. But not the best. <laughs> the, the best, I guess, would be under par. Oh, I did it again! Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. Back to golf nuts. Oops. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on, baby. We can do this. We can do this. Ready? Steady. Go! Into the teleporter! Oh, yeah, it worked this time. So, three wood is the way to go on that. 
and just getting a birdie on this hole would be a significant improvement to uh, what I've been playing thusly, so... Use the pitching wedge at max because of the wind direction, and max out the power! Yes! Okay. This might be the one. For all I know, but probably not, because this is still a golf. Made to be the most frustrating game in existence, I guess. <laughs> and fairway it is, please, for once. Oh, oh, really? Uh, oh, oh, wait, am I on? I'm on the green, but it doesn't... <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, I was gonna say... <laughs> I thought they were aiming me off the green, but no, that's my cursor. And, uh, yeah, what the poop? Well, in any case, um... I'm not not putting that distance. Pitching wedge, I get no. Wait, it's probably sand wedge against the golfing gods' wishes. <laughs> we shall chip on the green too. <laughs> to the hole. And oh no! I thought I had that just not by not moving the cursor, but it like sometimes the, the break takes the ball, and other times it doesn't. I don't know what's the what's the differentiating factor there. Well, a bogey. I'm back to even par. It's like that doesn't much mean much in the grand scheme of things, I guess you can say, because it's really only a couple of holes at this point that are just total doom. <laughs> so it's like if I'm even, they they could just go to total disaster town very quickly anyway. So like even if I'm under par, I could still go to total disaster town very quickly anyway. Like this one here. Alright, so I remember just a little bit of curvature to the side, and then I went up to that patch of the- That was really short. Uh, um, wait, wait, hold on, I just noticed something. I'm 236 to that middle island green. Couldn't I reach it from here? Let's try it. What have I got to lose? Holy poop, that's a new strat. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I played for the break. It did break, but it it did not go in. Okay, par. I'll take it. We're still even. Cause that's one of the one of the dangerous holes. Um. So we're again for the teleporter. Don't miss hit again. Okay. Little curvature to the right. Yes. All right. Pitching wedge. I guess. And not not at full though, and a little curve to the side. There we go. I don't know if I want to move the cursor again. I'm gonna assume not. Ah, I should have. <laughs> that would have made that would have been one under par for that. Well, as I said, it doesn't much matter because it's you can you can lose pretty pretty quickly <laughs> in strokeages. Okay, I don't know if I want to go for that middle island again. I just went for that because I, I was in a bad position anyway, so teleporter it is. And then over there, I guess, to the cross portion of fairway. Just a little curve to the left, though. Oh, yes, that's looking very nice. On the green now, please. Ah, I miss hit the on the gauge, but I am getting the willies here, because this could be the round of destiny. <laughs> okay, and not moving the cursor. Good. <laughs> just just trusting that I don't have to move the cursor, I guess. Now this one, I still have no idea. <laughs> I guess I'll just aim straight for it, and hope that it makes it across at least. Okay, let's... Two shots for par. <laughs> I'm kind of between directions again. And just go right and curve away to the left to avoid the zaps and play a little break. Okay. Final hole. Oh, this is. I gotta make a hole in one to be under par. Oh, dang it. <laughs> so I guess this might not be the round anyway. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, I definitely got the. Most of the hang of this, I guess. <laughs> Little curve to the left to destroy, I disrupt the rim. Ah, no. Even par. Ugh. All right. That's the best yet, but it's not under par. Can I do it? I think I can do it. And yes, I switched to the control stick properly this time. <laughs> Ready. This is it, the round of destiny. So we do three wood here. 
I guess, to make it to the teleporter. Uh, well, okay, I guess it doesn't matter as long as I'm not in the water. Uh, 137, 7 iron is correct. Not not a full 7 iron, just a, just a nice gentle 7 iron. <laughs> not gonna change my power, I mean, I'm not gonna change my direction. Got that birdie. I figured because it's mostly straight up the hill, it wouldn't change that much, but I was right. Alright, bunker it is. Or not. Well, actually, that's a, probably a better situation, because instead of being in the bunker, I'm in a more zap-free and uh, power-cutting less, if that if that's a saying, uh, area, because I'm not in the bunker like I usually am, and thus that means I could potentially make it in two. Oh, well, I mean, I, I sort of did, but I, I don't... Hmm, hmm. Dunk! Oh, oh! Yes! <laughs> yeah, this is definitely looking like the round of our destinies. Alright, so... With that wind, I would like to just hit it straight out! Almost. Almost. Because <laughs> I thought the wind would curve it towards the green. I was right, but I overhit. I underestimated the windiness. And yeah, just a little... little spot over that away. Oh I oh I hit it on the wrong side. I hope that doesn't mean I'm gonna bogey this. Oh dang it. <laughs> I don't know if I should be there or there. This looks too high, but this looks like it'll be too low. But what if I just overhit it? Yes! <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of golf now. We are golfing like a pro. Okay, so the idea of this one, as I found out, was to go to that little island with a little curvature. And, well, that's okay. I just want to get to this little island and be as close to this edge as possible. And, okay, now I aim straight for the green. And there we go. Nunk! Okay. <laughs> straight up the hill. Oh, it curved! You SLB! Well, it's a bird, though. <laughs> Still, you took away my eagle. You took away my eagle. Um. Yeah, okay, so... Should I even attempt the, the teleporter anymore? <laughs> I don't know, the teleporter just feels so risky. Dunk! Okay, whatever. As long as we're not in the water. Uh, 198. Why did I go so far back when I knew that wouldn't even be the club? Uh, okay, not at full, and a little right curvature? Well, left curvature by hitting right, excuse me. And I guess... Don't play the break? Yes! Yes! This could be it. This could be it. <laughs> Alright, so three wood, two with the teleporter. Dunk. Yeah. Oh! Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> well, maybe it's not that bad. Oh, there's... So they are... Oh! So they are in the woods. That's our first flightless bird. So yeah, I miss hit on that portion of the gauge. That's why, yeah. That's why I ended up there. I hit in the center and I wanted to hit more off-center because of the wind and... Well... Well... Well, let's see how things go. So we're gonna hit to that and the right curvature again. Sandwich out. Straight out, though. Because I'm not going to make it over there anyway, otherwise. Back to the driver. And a little bit cut power off. Oh, I didn't cut power off. Oh, almost in the out-of-bounds trees. <laughs> uh, it's not the end of the world, though. We're, we're still in this. We are still in this. Ooh. Can we do this, though? Uh, it's one over par, I mean, one under par still. And we're going into this hole. Yes, this hole. Alright, here we go. No, jeez. <laughs> I did not like this one. Uh, well, I mean, I do like the idea of it, but it's so dangerous. Uh, I don't know. I guess straight and then curve it to the left in, in the way that my character is facing. Dunk. Yes. And now don't miss. For the love of Arceus. <laughs> now I just have to get it down in two shots on this last hole. 
can I pull this off and have a Merry Christmas? I sure hope so, because that would be devastating at this point. All right, here we go. Little curve to the left. Oh, yes! I got it! I got it! <laughs> I shot under par on every golf game. <laughs> Against all odds, even golf nights. <laughs> Do I get anything for my troubles? It sure doesn't look like it whatsoever, other than the satisfaction of pulling off under par rounds. And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be like a wrap-up part of everything, unless there's more stuff in the other mode from the title screen or something like that, or maybe I'll come across something in the story. I don't know. We'll see.